Welcome back and today we're going to go through the process of installing Joomla server on Ubuntu server. So there are a couple of prerequisites. Uh, one is you have to have the ISO for Ubuntu server. You can download it right from uh, the Ubuntu website. And second, you have to have VirtualBox installed on your PC or Mac. So you can go to virtualbox.org and download it straight from there. It might be .com or .org. I don't know exactly, but you can try both and see which one it is. So other than that, let's jump right into it. All right, and now that we have uh, the ISO downloaded and VirtualBox installed, let's go ahead and open it up and create a new instance of a VirtualBox. All right, so we're gonna choose Linux. And we're going to name it Joomla. I actually have one that's already named uh, Joomla since I worked on this prior, so I'm just going to name it Joomla New. And for the memory, you can give it two gigs. One gig is enough if you're running kind of low on resources. All right, we're going to create a virtual hard disk now. It's going to be VDI, dynamically allocated and uh, I'm gonna give it about 64 gigs. You can give it as little or as much as you like. And we're gonna go into the settings and we're gonna change the network to a bridged network adapter so that we can get an IP address from our router. All right, and we're gonna choose our ISO that we downloaded. Okay, and let's go ahead and click start and let it run up. Um, so the initial uh, beginning of the install, pretty straightforward. Uh, choose the language, uh, you know, give the server a name, uh, choose the keyboard layout, do that kind of thing. So I'm gonna kind of fast forward through this bit here. And as soon as that's done, we're gonna go into the kind of configuration portion of this. All right, and in case you have a question with this, uh, as far as the uh, kind of uh, partition of disks, you can do guided use entire disk. And then when it asks, do you want to write changes? You can say yes. Right, and we don't need any HTTP proxy information. We can leave that blank, just hit return. All right, and we can install security updates automatically. And in this section, we're gonna select a LAMP server using the spacebar and also the open SSH server uh, using the spacebar and then you can hit return. The SSH server isn't necessarily, re necessarily required, but uh, I like to have it on there. Uh, so right now we're just going to type the MySQL password, uh, the root user password. This is a new one that you're creating. And then you're going to retype this. Remember this password because we're going to be asked for it uh, at a later time once we're a little deeper in the install. And here we're going to be asked if we want to install the bootloader. We can say yes. And the installation is complete. Uh, so the, the server will automatically restart and bring us to the login page. All right, and we'll go ahead and log in. And I seem to have forgotten my password. Uh, typo, let's try that again. All right, there we go, we are in. So I'm just gonna type clear to clear away uh, any of the stuff on the screen. And now we are gonna do something that's not necessarily uh, required, but I'd like to do it. Uh, we're just gonna change the root password. So we're gonna type sudo passwd. We're gonna, it's gonna ask for our Joomla user password, and now we can, <clears throat> create uh, uh, a new password for our Unix password. So essentially this is the root user password. Uh, we won't be going into the root user account, but uh, it'll be good to, good to have. All right, and now we are going to go ahead and create the sudo uh, MySQL database. So we're typing sudo because we need root permissions for this. 
we're gonna type our password that we use to create our MySQL. That's the one that I said, remember this one because we're gonna need it. Okay, and now we're creating a database for our Joomla site. And I will have all of this uh, code on the uh, description so that you can just essentially copy and paste. Feel free to you know substitute uh, the names of uh, the users and databases with whatever whatever you like. All right, so now we're granting all on Joomla.db for our new user that we're going to call Joomla. And it's going to be at localhost. And we are going to identify it by a password. I try to keep my passwords uh, kind of uniform uh, for the purposes of the video, but you can feel free to, you know, make your passwords m more cryptic and more distinct. All right, and we're going to hit return again, drop a couple of lines. We're going to flush privileges. And we're going to exit. So we are at this point done with the SQL portion of this. All right, we're going to clear just to clear out the screen, drop a couple of lines. And at this point, we're going to install some dependencies. Uh, so uh, this is uh, something that I typed out because I didn't have a place to copy and paste from. But you can uh, just copy and paste this directly from the description. I'll save you guys some typing. All right, now <clears throat> it's going to ask for permission to install. We're going to continue by pressing yes. Let it run through that. <clears throat> There's one other thing that we had to install that I forgot to add on there, and that was um, the unzip. So we're going to download a zip file, which we're going to need to uninstall and by uh, unzip. And by default, the unzip isn't installed, so we'll do it uh, as soon as uh, this PHP stuff is finished. And in order to install this, we have to use sudo. So it's going to be sudo apt install unzip. All right, let's drop down a couple of lines. And at this point, we're going to change directories to our temp folder in the root directory. And we're going to download the Joomla files. Uh, I'm going to type this out here, but I'll have it in the description. I feel like a broken record saying that. Um, essentially, if there is any long lines of code, I'm going to have those for you guys in the description. All right, now that, now that that's downloaded, we're going to unzip it. We sudo unzip dash. sudo unzip dash q joomla asterisk dot zip space dash d forward slash far forward slash triple w forward slash html that's the directory where we want it to be unzipped to alrighty that process has completed Okay, at this point, we're going to want to set some permissions. sudo chown minus r www dash data colon www dash data. 
and we're going to type that same directory var triple w html and we're going to do one last one sudo chmod minus r 755 so that our users can access All right, and next we are going to remove the index.html file because it will be replaced by the Joomla. Alright, and the last thing we're going to want to do at this point is restart the Apache server. Systemctl restart Apache 2. You can also do service Apache 2 restart and that'll do the same thing. Alright, at this point we're going to get our IP address by typing ifconfig and you'll see it pop up and it'll be a 10.1 or a 192 depending on uh, you know, how your uh, home router is configured. All right, now we can open up any web browser, whether it be Chrome, Edge, Safari, whatever you're using, whether you're on a Mac or a PC, and we're going to go to, to that directory, uh, to that IP address, excuse me. And it's a HTTP address, since we're not using SSL encryption. If you do want to do SSL encryption, that's uh, in another video, but uh, fairly straightforward to set up. If you do have any questions on how to do that, Go ahead and ask in the comments below, and I'll be more than happy to help you guys out with that. So we're going to give it uh, the site a name, a quick description. Uh, it is the best website on the planet. Actually, it's the best website in the universe. Yeah, I think I like that. All right, now uh, we're going to add an email address. Uh, we don't have a um, email server set up yet, so. Uh, these emails technically won't work, but go ahead and create an admin account. Uh, this is going to be where you're going to be making all your kind of changes from a password and confirm the password. All right, make sure there are no typos and click next. Okay, and uh, this is the username that we created uh, when we were making the database. So the, this is actually the database name first. Uh, and now I'm typing in the uh, username which we just made Joomla and also the password that we filled in when we wrote identified by. And you can go ahead and click a template, uh, one of the default ones. Uh, they're pretty good uh, for like a basic starter pack. You can download free templates, you can find them all over the web. There are some paid ones but uh, totally worth it especially since you're essentially getting a free web server. All right, congrats, Joomla is now installed. Uh, last thing we're gonna do is remove the installation folder. Okie dokie, and from here, we're gonna go to the administrator login. You can also access this administrator login by typing IP address forward slash administrator, all lowercase. All right, and this is asking for permission for statistics. I allow it, uh, mainly because it's just good for, um, development of this open source software. And from here, I'm just going to check for updates. Uh, if there are any updates, I'm going to go ahead and install them. All right, updating the Joomla files. And your site has been updated to Joomla 3.8.1. Alrighty, looking good. Uh, I'm just going to click check for updates one more time and it says you already have the latest version. Fantastic. So this is essentially the control panel where you're be, you'll be doing all of your changes from. You can get your articles here. I'm just going to open up one of the templates so you can see what it looks like. Let's close that out. Uh, let's go to the about page and just make a quick uh, you know change to the document and then see what it actually looks like live once we launch the site. 
And you know, in order to get this live and working, you're gonna have to set up like port forwarding, you're gonna have to get a domain. So there's a little bit of more work involved in it uh, afterwards because you know, unless this is like a website that you are only gonna be, you know, uh, accessing from within your network, which is awesome and great, you know, that's perfectly fine. This can be like an intranet kind of a website where it's for your company or for your school where you don't need to be accessing it from the outside. That's uh, totally fine as well. But uh, let's just type in the IP address here and take a look at what it looks like live. So that's essentially the kind of the finished product of this kind of blog style website. Uh, you know, your possibilities are essentially unlimited. You can um, you know get so many templates. Whether you're an artist, a designer, uh, you know, a salesperson, where you're selling you know gadgets or you know trinkets on the web. Uh, you really have uh, endless possibilities. But other than that, uh, we've reached the end here. Uh, thank you for watching, and we hope to see you next time.